G'day guys, Chris here from Floorcraft. Uh, today, pretty excited, we're taking delivery of our brand new ProPlaz 1530 CNC Plasma. So we're gonna go through the uh, well, receiving, we've already received it. Just gonna go through and check it all now, unwrap it, uh, move it into position. We'll put some services together, um, put the air and the power. Uh, we'll have the electrician coming in to do that later on episode and we'll also um, go through uh, running our first jobs and, and uh, going through the software. I've never had a CNC plasma before, this is our first uh, machine of this type so we've got a little bit of learning to do uh, but I'm pretty excited about um, the capabilities we can now offer our clients and um, the flexibility in our designs for hydraulic cylinders and various bits and pieces related to hydraulics. So. so now we'll just have a little walk around and just make sure now that we've got all the packaging or the plastic off, check that there's no major damage or scratches anywhere we're, we're not happy with from the shipping process or delivery process. pretty good they have run uh, they have set this up back in their factory it is a brand new machine they've taken some test cuts and calibrated whatever they have to calibrate so that's why you'll see a little bit of um, well, it has been used uh, but that's mainly for the testing and the calibrating side of things yeah. no, I think I'm uh, pretty happy with that so we'll uh, move it into position now and get the troops out of the way and see how we go. So the plan is to fork it the whole way with our five ton forklift. I'm just not sure if we're gonna fit it around our test bench. So follow me, we're just gonna grab a tape measure and just measure a couple of things. Thirty-seven twenty. That's going to be a, the corner of our machine. So it's going to be somewhere in this vicinity here. I'm just conscious of where the crane is. The crane can't get all the way to the wall. So we'll want to load this with the crane at times or we may want to load the sheet in with the fork. So we'll have the cable, uh, the energy chain and the tray on this side, the computer on this side. Uh, and this side stays fairly, uh, fairly open where we load from. Okay, so what the plan is, is to... Yeah, like I said before, lift it all the way in with the fork. Now I need to be able to check my weights here so 
when I am lifting above these machines, all the boys are going to be out of the way. Can lift to that certain height at two ton. It's a five ton forklift, I'm pretty confident. But I'm just going to double check it anyway. So we've got an estimated mass here of. This is from the. It's probably not the most correct way to do it, but I would say they've probably overestimated. 2,000 kilos, which I think would be about right. Um, uh, or I can go there and, and check with the manufacturer. But I'm happy with two tons, so let's go and look at the um, lifting. Chart on the forklift. It'd be about 1900. So here we've got a uh, forklift length attachment model. These are all the same. So we've got a load center. Where's the load center? Which is be there. So our load center, how far away is it from the, the mast? Yeah, it'll be six six hundred. So we've got six hundred. And we can lift it four point eight meters high. And if we don't tilt the mast and we leave it square, we can lift thirty seven fifty kilos. So plenty of um, plenty of fudge factor in that. So I'm pretty confident and I'm happy to to lift that up and over. We'll have to make sure we've uh, we'll get this. The problem is here, I know that this floor 
goes in. So this is the main slab. This gets poured first, generally with a tilt up. This slab here, all your footings and everything goes in. Uh, all your services get run here and then they pour this last. So this bit of concrete is never sort of the same as this bit of concrete. So we need to be quite careful with our levels. We want this machine to be level. I would like it just to be on one slab of concrete, but I'm thinking I'm gonna be taking up too much real estate here. So I'm gonna try, see how we go. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer. Um, but right, what I've got to do now is maybe just do a little bit of unpacking here, see if there is some feet that need to go on here so we can adjust the level. So there should be some feet that go under here. So we'll see if we can find them now and let's go, start prepping a little bit. <coughs> Just so you know. Okay, so we've got our feet, pad feet. Can't find the instructions, so sort of winging it here, but I'm guessing it's something like that. So we're flush there. We've got some adjustment here for height, just in case our floor's out. We've got a little lock nut here that can lock that off. We run that on. Just gonna leave everything a little bit loose and until we get it leveled. Then we screw this one under here. six done now so I'm gonna put that down and just see how it's see how it's sitting and run a um, run a level on there and just get a rough measurement yep yep I'll just go check the other side Make sure we haven't got a twist. Woo! Yep. Looks good. So I'm going to go around and nip up these feet now. And we can start unboxing a bit more. 